Hi. In this section, we are going to be working with points, lines, and planes, right? Um, and all type of figures, all shapes. So in this case, we want to identify all this information on this part right here, right? So we're going to be reviewing the uh, definitions that we already went to on another video. So um, it says just a figure below for exercise one's way. Note that R N pierces the plane at N, right? So it's a line that goes like, say that we have a piece of paper and it just cut it uh, in between them. It is not coplanar with V. The part right here is important. It's not coplanar with V, right? As a review, coplanar means that they are on the same plane. So not coplanar means that it's not on the same plane. So let's start with the first one. It says name two segments shown in the figure. So let's identify two segments. So remember that two segments, we're going to write it using the endpoints. And a segment is part of the line that has two endpoints. So in this case, I have AX, right? Segment AX, as you can see, I'm putting that line on top. And segment CN. And those are the segments that I'm seeing. I can rename all those segments in different ways, right? So for example, I can use CN. Uh, CN is a segment, and M is another segment right there, right? AN is a segment, AX, right? And I don't think that I have any more, right? And I also can rewrite those uh, inverse, right? X, A, M, C, and C, M, N, it's the same, right? Next one says, what is the intersection of CM, line CM, and line RN? RN is this line that goes right here, right? That line that goes, that pierces that plane V. And RN, or CM, sorry, is this line that goes right here. CM, RN. So the intersection is that point that is the same, or is a part of the points of both of them. So in this case, it's just point N, and we're just naming it as N. That's it. Next one, name three collinear points. Collinears are points that are on, on the same line. So in this case, one example of collinear points right here is A, point N, and X, or point C, N, M. There's no other three collinear points. So A, A, and X, or C and M. Okay. Remember that this point right here, R, is outside of the plane, and V is just the name of the plane. It's not a point. That's why we don't have a point there. What are two other ways to name plane V? Remember that if plane, we can rewrite it as plane with that capital letter. It's usually it's going to be on one of the corner and it's not a point. Or we can use any two, three non-collinear points. So for example, we can name this plane A, A, and M, for example, or plane A and C. As long as we are using any three non-collinear points, it's a name. So for example, we can name it A and X, for example, or M and X. Again, R is not on the plane. Okay. Our points R, N, M, and X, Planner, so you read C and tag is no, right? Because R is not on that plane, right? Name two rays shows in the figure. So, two rays. So, in this case, it's a ray, it's an A and A, and an X, for example, I have two rays. So, any rays, right? For example, an M is another one, and C is another one, XA is another one. That XA and XN is the same ray, right? AX is the same ray as AN, so on. So remember that it's a ray has an endpoint and goes nearly to the other side. Okay. Name the pair of opposite rate with point N. Right? Name the pair. So in this case, N is my endpoint, so that means that opposite rate form a line. So in this case is N A and X or 
N C and N M. Okay. How many lines are shown? This is very important, right? It's telling you that it's shown in the drawing. So in this case, it's just three, right? Because I have line C M, line A X, and line R N. There's infinitely many lines on that plane, but only three that are shown. Okay, so now we are going to write an answer with always, sometimes, or never. We're going to just use the first letter of each one. Okay, so in this case, ray GH and HG are the same ray. In the, and this is never. And this is never. Why? Because the direction of the ray is given by the order of the letters. So this means that on Ray GH means that the end point is G and it's sending to where H is. And on this one, it's telling you that it starts at H and it's sent to where G is. So it's not the same ray. Okay. J I and J L are opposite rays. But well, this one is sometimes. Why? Because they share the same end point, but not necessarily the I and the L forms a line. For example, I can have that I have the point J right here, and I have I over here, and let's say I have L over there. Okay. So in these cases, they are not opposite ray. But if I have if I had L over here, then they are opposite ray. So that's why it's something. Okay. A plane consists only of three points. So this is never, right? Because a plane consists of infinitely many points, right? So it not only consists of three points. Okay? Three non-collinear points are contained in one plane. In this case, is always. It's always, right? Because any two, three collinear points, it says uh, one of the postulates said that through any three points, there is exactly one plane. Plane. If AG line AG lies in plane X, point G lies in plane X, that's also always. Oops. So this is also always, right? Why there's no way of having that the line is on plane X and that point G is not on that same plane, so it's always. If three points are planar, they are collinear. Well, this is just sometimes, right? We can have three planar points that are not collinear. For example, if I have a plane right here, let's say there's something like that. I have one point here, one point here, one point there. They are not collinear, but they are co they are coplanar, but not collinear. So, okay. This is possible for a ray to be shorter in leg than another. No, it's not possible. Not possible. Why? Because every ray starts in a point and it's standing infinitely to the other side. So it doesn't matter that I draw a smaller or, or no, they are infinitely lines, right? It's going to continue forever. Okay. And the last one says draw a figure of two planes that intersect at point. At line SD, so let's say I'm going to divide right, something like that, and then let me see if I can do something like this right there. And this is point S, and this is point T, and there you go two planes that intersect at point ST, a line ST, sorry, not point ST. Okay, so now we want to draw a figure to fit each description. So it says through any two points, there is exactly one line, right? So if I draw any two points right here, let's name this one point A and this one point B, there's just one line. I'm, I'm going to show you using right here the ruler. 
right? There's no way that I can include any other way my ruler through those two points that is not through that same and only line right here. As you can see, I'm using my arrows at the end. I should have done this A down here instead of there, right? But at the end, why? Because this is going to continue to lead to both sides. Two distinct lines can intersect in only one point. Again, I'm going to use that same line right there, right? If I draw another line and I'm going to use the row, right? The only way that these two lines are intersecting is that it's, they form a line. I'm not saying that it's the only point that they're intersecting, right? But if I have two lines, the only way that they are going to intersect is that their intersection is a point. Not necessarily point B, right? We can intersect them point A or whatever, but that intersection is just going to be one point right there. Okay, so let me close the ruler right here. So point F lies on ray HG and point M lies on AN. If F, E, and M are collinear, must what must be true of those of this three of this. So because F is on the segment of this ray, HG and M is also on this one. And they are collinear, so that means that they have to be on the same plane, on the same line, right? There's two ways, two different ways of having this one, right? Let's say the number one, I have point E right here. Let me do it. That's point E right here. I have point N over here, and I have point G over here. And I have point F right here, and I have point M right there. So that means that the first one is that they are opposite Race. Right? Again, they share that same endpoint and they form a line. Right? Another possible way I'm going to do it in another color so you can see it is that I have point E here, point F, point N, point G, and point M over here, or something like that. On that, it could be a different order, but E is going to be right there. Right? So the other option is that they are are identical race. So number 19, right, what other terms or phrase mean the same as postulate? So in this case, we can have many options, but for example, axiom is one, state of fact, assumption, or statement of truth, right? So, so number 20, I want to know how many segments I have in this V right here. And so in this case, I'm going to count them. So I have segment D, G, that's one. D, F, two. D, E, three. E, F, four. E, G, five. And F, G, six segments. Remember that segment D, E is the same segment as E, D, so we don't have to count it twice. Okay, for 21 to 27, I don't know why it says 27. So 27. We're going to use this figure right here that I have here. So I want to name the intersection for each pair of plane or lines. Remember that two planes intersect in a line and two lines intersect in a point. Right? So in this case, I want to start with plane ABP. ABP is this one on the back. And B, C, D is the one on top. So they intersect on this line right here. So again, A, B, P, A, B, C, D is this plane. So it's line A, B. A, B is a line, so we're going to use arrows at the end. I have line R, Q, and R, O. R, Q, and R, O. As you can see, they share point R, so that's the intersection. So plane ADR, ADR is this one on the left. DCQ is this one on front. So they are intersecting right here on that line. DR. Right? Planes BCD, BCD is this one on top. And plane BCQ, BCQ is the one on the left, on the right, sorry, on the right, right there. So they're intersecting on B, on line B. 
C. Fine. Now line O P and Q P. O P. O P right here. O P and P Q. Right there, they set on point P. Now I want to name the planes that intersect on point on that line, right? Remember that we can use three letters to name a plane, so the answer may vary from one of you, right? So RO. RO is this one right here, that line, so it intersects like the one on the bottom and the one on the right. So that means let's name, let's name plane ADR and the one on the bottom is plane ORQ. Again, those letters may vary. Okay. Now DA, I want to name DA is this one right here. So I have the one on the left, so let's say plane a, B, R, and plane, and the one on top, so A, B, C, plane, A, B, C, that's it.